Give him the forecast. Omega level threat detected. Ancient sands, heed my command and reclaim these relics of hatred. Girl. Girl, I swear I'm the only bitch that I know that can smoke two or three cigarettes, girl, while I'm pre-workout and kill the goddamn cardio sessions as if I've never smoked a day in my life, bitch. That's not that's not a good thing. That's nothing to be proud of. But I swear, girl, and I'm a good swimmer, too. Like, I can really swim. A lot of people throughout the years have been very surprised. Like, girl, as much, you know, cigarettes as you run through, we would think that you would have a collapsed lung or not be able to do half the shit we've seen you do my brother is constantly surprised when i get in the pool and i'm just doing my shit i'm like fucking um michael phelps girl but instead of the weed it's the cigarettes bitch how does he do this <laughs> bitch i don't know hello but girl good workout again i'm focusing on the midsection trying to like burn those fucking fat capsules bitch like it's time to go <sighs> girl so i love the gym the gym always gives me uh the clarity that's needed required and desired to bring you guys some good commentary right some good topics of conversation and i'm in there and i'm just thinking to myself this is like the third day in a row that i've seen um a high volume well, I don't want to say high volume because I've actually never seen anyone in here like this on that level, but it's not one or two. It's 10 to 15 a day that I'm seeing. So I don't know if it's like some special group or, you know, whatever. It is the summertime. So I know all the different facilities out there. Um, they got to have things for their clients to do. Um, and I want to preface this. I'm not being shady. I'm not being rude. This is my dark humor. Hello, gone. So if you don't get that side of me, you gonna learn today. <laughs> okay, girl, I love all people, but girl, let's not act like we haven't thought of, we haven't said hello, God, in, in the comfort of our own home and in the privacy of it all around other people that we're comfortable with. Let us not act like we haven't thought or said things against certain, you know, groups of people, girl. So anyway, the other day, I noticed this fine ass, uh, he could have been Cuban, Spanish, I don't know, girl. He wasn't white, though. You can tell white man. He wasn't white. <clears throat> and girl, I'm on the treadmill, and the spirit says, look up to your left. And I look up to my left, and around the corner comes this fine ass man walking and his walk is a little cricket you know it's, it's given you know decrepit you know it's given you handicapped disabled physically you know challenged type of vibes girl that motherfucker was fine and his print was printing girl i'm telling you girl like oh i was like girl <laughs> Bitch, that motherfucker turned that corner. And that bitch, that bitch, that bitch, that Girl, I said, oh. Girl, not me over here lusting over the physically handicapped girl. Girl, stop it. I was through. And then I thought about it. Girl, they need love too. Remember that argument I gave many moons ago, girl, talking about um, there was this thing going on on Dirty Twitter. There's this gay, um, he's a grown man, but he's gay. Uh, he's a little person. And, honey, these, he be taking dick, girl. They, they be throwing his last around, girl, like he's a rag doll. And I got it in the comment section, and people were saying, well, if you like little people, that means you like children. You, And I'm just like, girl, little people are grown too. Little people have sex too. Do you think that they're just going to have sex with other little people? And this is also the porn industry, girl. So, I mean, 
there are certain fetishes and certain things that people indulge in to please a certain you know group of folks girl you know what i'm saying like everybody has their thing it may not be for you but how dare you that's so like disturbing and that's like really like talking down and being real greasy and nasty towards the little people's community that's kind of fucked up because this dude is probably like in his 30s or whatever he's just a little person you know taking what we consider to be normal size you know cock you know well that wasn't normal but still though it just you know that kind of stuff disturbs me a little bit and i'm just thinking to myself today and today yesterday and the day before like i said it's been three days now that i've seen you know uh these people in the gym and i'm just and on a serious note like no jokes i'm like damn i would fuck this dude like i would let this dude fuck me i would fuck him he had a nice ass he had a big ass print he looked you know it is what a uh, girl he just was physically challenged it's not like he was girl i hate to say this because it's you know frowned upon but it's not like he was retarded mentally you know what i'm saying like girl no it's like he just girl <laughs> His legs and his arms is messed up. And I'm in the gym today. And I just see like five different ones. And I'm just like, these dudes are fine. Like, talk about special. <laughs> so special, so special. Girl, okay, girl. I was like, honey, is it wrong? Drop that in the comments. Let me know. Would y'all would y'all doing who? Someone who was physically challenged? Like. Now, I can't do no paraplegics, girl. I can't do, if you're paralyzed on the waist down, what's the point, girl? <laughs> what's the point, girl? Like, just the, I'll collect your check for you. I'll become your payee, girl, and, and pay me. <laughs> okay, hello, God. But as far as, like, girl, now, I'm not the bitch from, I'm not Kathy Bates from Misery, girl. We ain't finna be doing all that now. But I'll collect your funds for you, give you $10 a month, <laughs> bitch, just to spend on your, you know, Uh, your video oh he almost ran them girls over and i would have ran them over just the way they gave him that look instead he walked a little bit slower i hate when people do that that makes me want to run you over even more bitch fucking cunts <clears throat> but yeah girl it just really made me think i was like child they need love too you know and when i mean fine and letting and remember what i told y'all the retarded girl, the the disfigured girl, the disenfranchised, they the ones that come packing, girl. They packing what y'all lacking, girl. Let's tell the truth. Can we tell the truth, bitch? What's today? Wednesday, or, uh, it's not Tuesday, so it's not tell the truth Tuesday, girl, okay? But we still gotta tell the truth. They be packing, girl, and... I was going to tell y'all, give y'all a story time, but I think that's just one of the things I got to keep to myself, girl. <laughs> Child, I, okay. Okay. I ain't going to tell the full story, but I will share this much. When I, I was in this group home when I was younger, and... Uh, Girl, I need a cigarette. <laughs> and, honey, one of the boys, he was about to age out. <clears throat> and, uh, which means he probably was like two years older than me. Because I think I was like 16. You age out at 18. So I remember, yeah, he had just turned, he was about to turn 18 that weekend. Girl, let me tell you. And he wasn't fully... He had sense, girl. He had sense and he was able-bodied. Okay? Like, <laughs> very able-bodied, very capable. Um, girl, when I mean this bitch was tall as fuck, he had to have been like 6'2", six, 6'3", six, at the time. I can only imagine how tall he is now. Serving Yao Ming vibes, girl. And he probably was like Asian and white. And when I tell you no lie that boy had a big ass dick and i remember he was a little aggressive 
He was a little aggressive, girl. But again, he wasn't like... He, good sense. He was not like fully gone. Like He wasn't, you know, he just... It, it would take him time to like interpret things and process information and things of that nature. A very smart, you know... Um, girl, when I tell you that weekend that motherfucker came in my room and he was like, what are you going to get me for my birthday? You know, I'm, I'm leaving. I won't be, you probably won't ever see me again. What are you going to get me for my birthday? He was very direct. You know, those types of people be kind of direct. There's really no in between with them. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm just like, and we never really had like a close relationship or I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like I really, mm -mm, girl, please. I, I barely even, I don't have time. I don't, I'm not here to make friends, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, please. Um, and he wasn't my cup of tea anyway. Like, girl, why would I associate with you, bitch? And not for the reasons y'all think. It's just like, I don't, girl. Mm -mm. So I was like, well, what do you want for your birthday? What, 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 you know, everybody knew I had a job. Everybody knew that I had the coins. Everybody knew that, you know, I'm, I'm like that. If you were, if it was your birthday, I would get you a little something, whether it was some candy or a teddy bear, or some shit, or something I know you like. I'll, you know, I'll bless, I'll bless you, you know. And so I was like, "What do you want?" When I tell you, this motherfucker stood up because he was sitting at the foot of my bed, and he stood up and he did one of those things like this. You know how they make it clap. He did one of those, and you just see this. He had no drawers on. He had this big ass fucking dick just slapping from side to side and he was like I want what you give everybody else I said oh girl not you calling me a whore <laughs> oh, girl. Not, <laughs> not you clocking my whore you know girl not clocking my whore I said and what is that I said excuse me what is that he was like you know what you be doing with them boys I said, oh, and I looked down and I just see his dick just getting harder and standing to attention, girl. <clears throat> and I'm just like, and y'all know dick turns me on. And I'm like, I said, out of curiosity, whip it out. Because at this point, like I'm living for the directness. I love a direct. I love direct shit, period. Okay. I said, whip it out. Girl, when he took that motherfucking dick out in pants, he just walked up to me and just did like that. And again, they can be aggressive. And he's strong. When I mean strong, strong. And I already kind of knew that because when he would flip a wig, girl, he'll be throwing these niggas around like they was rag dolls, girl. And I just kind of knew like, okay, if I ever got in a fight with this bitch, I'm going to have to punch his ass in the throat to bring him down and I'm gonna have to beat those knees girl period okay and girl when I mean I was stuffed full and I was so shocked and girl like within I want to say 10 15 minutes girl daddy just busted this fat ass load all over my face and he took a towel I know that sounds really disgusting but whatever girl um I don't think he had ever really I don't know. It was just really crazy. And I was here for it. I'm not even gonna lie. The hoe in me, child, okay? Especially at that time when I was a young cunt. Honey, I tell you, um, <laughs> he wiped my face off. He gave me a kiss and he was like, that's the best, best birthday gift ever. I'll be back tonight. Girl, I sucked him off that whole weekend. Drained him dry. Girl, please. Child, that Monday morning came and he had to go. I gave him one last, last round of applause in the shower. Okay. Oof. But long story short, girl. <laughs> Hello, God. Girl. Everybody need love, child. Okay. Everybody need love. I wonder how he's doing now. I wonder. Hmm. Mm. But anyway, girl.
I want to talk about Megan Thee Stallion real quick. So, if it's not one thing or another, the girls just, this is how you know you're blessed, how you're favored, hello God, how you know your steps have been ordered. You are protected when enemies come from all fronts, bitch. We had it happen with the Tory Lanes. We had we had it happen with the 1501 trash. We had it happen with her so-called friends. We we just had it happen across the board, right? Um, recently, bitches, um, you know, tried to sue her for copyright infringement um, because they claimed that she utilized, you know, sat uh, the Savage Beater, whatnot, child. That case was thrown out, girl. So Megan won. Hello, God. Um, we, we had a situation that we haven't even got an update for. And that's how you know that it was rooted in lies and deceit. Hello, God. Foolishness, fakery, fuckery, and fraud. Jewelance. Hello, God. Um, the boy, the cameraman or whoever who claimed that Megan forced him to record her having sex in a car or some shit like that. And he was trying to, you know, get uh, his wages back or whatever, girl. Girl, I, we haven't heard nothing. That was a couple months back, right before her tour, um, you know, debuted child. And we haven't heard nothing because more than likely it's bullshit. Okay? We're hearing a lot of fake news coming out about her tour. Girl, her tour is selling out. Every show selling out. The hotties are showing up and showing out in support of, of the queen. Okay? Meanwhile, you have Nikki Minaj girl, Hello Gone, also known as Miss Coke Stories herself, Tales from the Coke Bitch, the Cocaine Bear Bitch herself, Hello Gone, sitting around here trying to throw subliminals and try to throw shots about how she's always going to remain the queen. That's why you're not the queen. In the words, Hello Gone, of Tywin Lannister Bitch, when he spoke to Joffrey down to the um the council meeting, girl, the small council meeting, whatever the name is, girl, and Joffrey was going off, I am the king. Tywin Lannister said, bitch, anyone who has to yell about saying they're the king is no king. And the same goes for this bitch. For a real queen has grace and understanding and awareness, bitch. They are poised. They know that they are a queen. They know that they are royalty. They don't have to say it. They don't have to repeat it. Their actions, the way that they gracefully walk through this life, shows and exemplifies queen nature. And that is Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion's not, all, not around here talking about she's the queen. She's the best female rapper alive. She's not out here doing all of that. She's living her life, putting in the work, not worried about none of you raggedy ass bitches and niggas. And when you are unbothered, that is when people try to bother you. That is when the spirit of chaos and confusion, hello gone, try to reap its ugly head throughout your life. Because you are literally unbothered. When you are the spirit, the antithesis of unbothered, that is when shit tries to move you the most. And I just love how Megan is like, girl, <laughs> please. You cunts could never disturb my peace. Period. Period. <clears throat> That's how you recognize someone who is blessed and protected. Hello, gone. There is a divine entity sitting around her blocking these holes. Just da, 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 blocking these holes. What is this man doing? Let me get out of here. Oh, someone broke his mirror, girl. Well, it wasn't me. Oh, girl, yeah, they be out here breaking people's shit. Y'all gonna have to get out the fucking way. Girl, I feel bad for him. When did they break his mirror? Because I was parked next to you the whole time, bitch. And they didn't break mine. Ooh, thank you. Let some Megan Thee Stallion spirit rub off on me. Because I can't, I ain't got time for it, bitch. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to bring up, girl. Like, shout out to Megan. Continue doing your shit. Hello, God. Handling business. Not paying none of these hoes, no mind. Nicki Minaj is a bitter cunt. <clears throat> and let me and let me say this too about this. Come on, honey, come on. Let me say this too about Nicki Minaj. You have such an amazing catalog. You your music. Let me tell you something, girl. You have it. You have the legendary status. But your foolishness, your obvious hateration, bitch. Hello, God. 
it overshadows, oh, bitch, it overshadows all of your great achievements. Stay offline. Y'all need to get this girl. Grab her by the fucking hair, girl, and let her know, girl. You need to stop snorting, allegedly snorting these lines of, of snowflakes, girl. And you need to shut the fuck up. Stop inviting people to give that type of commentary. Because it's definitely serving coke stories, girl. I'm not going to let that go. It's the truth. The fuck? Y'all really be running around this bitch acting like that girl ain't on coke. It's serving coke. It's serving tales from the coke. Period. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that shit. Meanwhile, Megan Thee Stallion is winning, bitch. Hello. Meanwhile, Megan Thee Stallion is getting her things. Selling out as an independent artist, bitch. <clears throat> Period. And you girls are mad about it. Get a fucking life. Anyway, that's all I got. Y'all be blessed and never stressed. Know the health is truly well. Drop that in the comments. Let me know what y'all think, girl. All right. Until next time. Bye.